Good evening. Welcome to class. You must be excited about graduation at the end of the semester. Here you are, ready to begin your student teaching. Some of you may be thinking, where did the time go? Before you start your student teaching assignments, I think it would be good to review the material we covered over Bloom's taxonomy. You all remember the American educational psychologist Benjamin Bloom from previous lectures. He is most famous for his classification system called Bloom's Taxonomy. In general terms, a taxonomy is just a way of classifying things from low to high or simple to complex. Bloom's taxonomy is a way of classifying the types of questions that teachers ask their students. Why is this important for teachers to consider? There are a couple of reasons. First, it is widely accepted that teachers test their students by asking them questions. Bloom would argue that teachers should be asking questions to teach their students, not just to test them. Second, many teachers ask questions that only assess students' factual knowledge. This means that teachers are focusing on the lowest level of cognition. The author of the teacher vision article suggests that students tend to read and think based on the kinds of questions they anticipate from the teacher. This would suggest that if teachers want more from their students, they should expect more. Let's look more carefully at Bloom's taxonomy. The lowest level is called knowledge. This does not require much careful thinking from students. The types of questions addressed at this level are typically fact-based questions. For example, in what year was the Milan conference held? For a student to answer this question, they only need to recall information that they have memorized. The next level up is called comprehension. This requires more careful thinking from students. Comprehension questions help teachers know how well a student understands a concept. An example might be, summarize how the Milan Conference impacted deaf education in the United States. If we continue up the scale, the next level of questioning is called application. Questions of this type require students to demonstrate their problem-solving skills. This requires even more critical thinking on the part of students than the previous two levels. We are now in the higher order thinking section of the taxonomy. An example might be, describe a plan of action that deaf educators might have taken to push back against the changes happening as a result of the Milan Conference. As you can see, the questions are becoming more challenging and will require students to use more and more critical thinking skills. The next level on Bloom's taxonomy is called analysis. This level requires students to notice patterns or trends. Clearly, 
We are really expecting students to become critical thinkers now. An example question for analysis might look like the following. Diagram and analyze the current trends in deaf education. What components do you believe resulted from the Milan conference? Moving further up the scale, we arrive at synthesis. This level of the taxonomy would have students using previous knowledge to come up with new ideas. There is a great deal of creativity expected at this stage. Students might be asked to predict some future outcome based on current events. An example of a synthesis question might be, what can you infer about the future of deaf education based on your understanding of the mainstreaming trend happening today? Students must use their current understanding of a complex subject in order to predict a possible future outcome. Finally, at the top of the taxonomy, we find the concept of evaluation. This requires students to use their judgment to express their opinion about some event or theory. This is the highest level of cognition proposed by Bloom and demands the most critical thinking from students. An example of an evaluation task might be compare the benefits of mainstreaming over residential schools. Defend your position to send your child to the residential school for the deaf rather than a local mainstream program. In order to effectively complete this task, students must think critically and evaluate various parts of a complex situation. The thing you should learn from this summary is that you should be asking your students several types of questions. If you only focus on the lower levels of Bloom's taxonomy, your students may not develop the higher level thinking skills necessary in today's world. Remember, if you have high expectations, your students will rise to meet them.